Orothy after the Oz books and mixes it with some steampunk and some zombies. And frankly, it's one of the two best comics I've read this year. I think the idea for it sounds stupendous. <laughs> like the way you just put it out there seems like uh, it would enthrall anybody, especially with classic characters in the new light. I mean, come on. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Seriously. And uh, Eric was told by a major comic professional on a uh, broadcast, a, a YouTube broadcast recently, uh, that this uh, artist slash writer hated Eric because Eric thought of this amazing idea first. And it's one of those that when Eric first told me about it, I'm like, why didn't I think of this? This is, ge- this is so simple, so obvious, and so genius. And Eric does a fantastic job with it. And he will be, a you know, little plug here for Silicon, he will be in uh, Brian's Love Shack um, this coming Saturday at, uh, during all day long. And he will have copies of that comic to sell. And he'll be doing sketches, too. Very awesome. Well, we have stopped the live stream, but we have some time left in the archive recording. Uh, so I did cool. want to wrap up because I hate getting disconnected. It's so it feels so weird when we're in mid thought and it just thank you for using Blog Talk. Goodbye. Uh, you are done. Yeah, but, I, I uh, used to use Blog Talk <laughs> Radio a long time for a podcast I use, and uh, it could be a little draconian at times. So <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I understand. People, I, feel, uh, I feel you. People give me the whole, there's still a blog talk, man. I used to use blog talk back in the day. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm also still on MySpace, too, if you're interested. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but that's just a whole retro thing because that's where we started off, actually. Uh, when I started doing stuff out of the studio at college, I'd just upload stuff to my MySpace. So I actually went back there and tried to refigure this new setup they have and upload some new stuff. So. Oh, cool. Well, good. It's all people about aren't, obviously uh, someone is still what, using MySpace. <laughs> yeah, mostly musicians. I thought it'd be cool uh, for a good retro thing and to uh, never forget where I came from. Yeah, excellent idea. I, I agree completely. Well, since we're almost out of time, and I always like to have uh, my guest plug, plug, plug a Rooney, uh, the last question. I always ask what the future holds for you. Of course, we have Silcon tomorrow. I know you mentioned you have some more cons coming up, and everything you got going on, go ahead and plug away, my friend. Me plug things? Well, as unused to that as I am. (laughs) Yeah, uh, yeah, right. We Um, have 14 minutes, Brian, so uh, so watch (laughs) out there on your plug Yeah, I better talk fast. Um, (laughs) But if uh, anyone wants to uh, find out what I do, go to Amazon. Do a search for Brian K. Morris, and I will pop up. Uh, I have about half a dozen books, nonfiction books, uh, such as Santa's Sign, the uh, uh, post-holiday Prometheus, as well as my series book, Volcano, Rebirth of the Champion. I'm currently working on the sequel. And the aforementioned uh, original Skyman Battles, The Master of Steam, and uh, also, um, and this year I've also published a nonfiction book called Amazon Book Reviews Made Less Impossible, a reader's guide to rewarding authors, where readers can find out why their reviews are so important to their favorite authors and why they should write reviews and why authors should be asking for them because you can train Amazon to sell your be- books better. Also, I provide a handy template for people who don't have the first idea about how to write an Amazon book review. It's very handy. Uh, And if you want to find out what I'm doing, I'm also on – look for Rising Tide Publications on Facebook. I have a website, uh, risingtide.pub, but it is – it needs an overhaul so badly. It's a hard hat zone right now. So go to the uh, Facebook page. You um, can find it very easily through my own personal page. And give us a like because we have brand new content every day of the week and usually more than one item. Today we asked a question. We had an AMA uh, session, Ask Me Anything, and uh, talk about tiptoeing through a minefield. That would be it. Uh, plus I will be <laughs> at um, – I will be at SoCon, like Jimmy said. Um, I'll be at SoCon this coming uh, Friday and Saturday in a special room called the Love Shack. And I will be joined by people such as um, Ariana Archeri, J.W. Wright, Prometheus Susan, Austin, Austin and Logan Malcolm, Kathy Pavlik, Lacey Lynn Becky, uh, Amy Hale, Kathy Jackson, T.L. Shively, Molly Daniels, Isaac Hicks, 
Mike Ricksecker and more, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? And then Saturday, <laughs> I will be um, I, uh, you know, at one thirty. There will be an authors panel with myself and noted romance authors Kathy Jackson and Amy Hale will be discussing freelancing and self-publishing and being published by others and how you can develop your um, freelance writing career. And then at 5.15, to, from 5.15 to 6 o'clock, I am uh, interviewing Kajosha Ono, the real-life queen of the paranormal. Go to queenofthe-paranormal.com to find out why she is a real-life superheroine. And joining us will be Charles D. Moissant. And we are going to be having a nearly global audience. It will be a special episode of my own vlog, Never Mind the Furthermore, which runs on my, my page on Facebook every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Plus, we have another show that we do on Tuesday nights called Clever Title Pending. And, yes, that is the name of the show. No, I'm not waiting for your suggestions. <laughs> um, and uh, it runs, like I said, at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, and it's all about the business and the, uh, the acts of creativity. And other than that, I'm a hermit. I don't do anything. Well, I think just... Clever title pending as the name is genius because that's well, like you, you just look at it and you're like, well, this is if you've never seen it before, you're like, does this guy know what he wants to call a show? But I think for the name of the show, that's terrific. <laughs> well, one of my it works. I kind of got inspired. Thank you, I, thank you. I appreciate that. One of the things that inspired me was a Broadway play that actually won a Tony or two called Title of Show. And it's a play Very about cool. two guys writing a play about two guys writing a play. Uh, <laughs> so it's very clever, but uh, that was kind of in the back of my mind when I named the Tuesday show. Um, plus, we are work, we are starting work on our next uh, book, Aquatic. Plus, if you want to sign up for my monthly newsletter, the, first, the next issue will be going out uh, around noon tomorrow Eastern. So go to my Rising Tide Publications page, and you can sign up for it before it's too late. And because we're going to talk in there about our brand new book, Aquatic. Very awesome. I think I'm well, done. I want to thank you. Uh, <laughs> I did want to mention uh, before I wrapped up, thank you for putting in, again, such a good word uh, with Kairosha for me because she was such a great person to talk to, and I can't wait to meet her this weekend. Um, same here. We've been friends for about four years, and all we've done is like send emails and PMs and talk on the phone very frequently. But this is the first time we're going to be in the not only the same you know state but the same building. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing her too, and I'm glad that you got uh, to talk to her. She is a real life superhero, and she's a darling lady. I love her so. Yeah, some of the stuff she's done would make uh, Stephen King go, oh, my goodness, I have 15 new books now. And no, it's no. amazing. Yeah, she is. She's, she she is an amazing. absolute marvel. She is. And plus, uh, Eric Hawkins and I are doing a comic book based on her exploits, her real-life exploits. Yes, the first true uh, – how did you guys put that? The first real-life comic book hero – Yes, the first real-life real life superhero with her own comic book. Because she is, is a real-life superhero. She has paranormal abilities. Plus, um, while there have been women in comics, um, even going back to the days of, like, who had their own titles, such as Day 11s of Roy Rogers' Day 11s, yeah. Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel. Uh, but Kondrosha... Is those are all made up characters. Uh, Kadrosha is the real deal, and she is the first person to have her own comic book. And we will be doing a Kickstarter for that probably later this month. So keep uh, keep um, listening to the Rising Tide. Keep and we'll make you aware of everything we're doing on that uh, on that front. That is so awesome. I love Kickstarter for people who want to make uh, books or films, anything. If you have the the right idea behind it, if you have the way to sell it, and I know you, you could sell uh, a hot dog to a pig. So I think <laughs> with the way uh, you can write up stuff and uh, the way you guys work hard and uh, promoting and plugging and getting funds, I think it's going to be great. Well, thank you. We're uh, I'm I've turned in the script already. Eric has started uh, drawing it, and he's doing some of the best art of his career. He really is, and I'm very proud to be associated with this project. So I'm 
I'm excited for it when it finally comes out. Yes, I look forward to uh, hearing more about it. And I think I'm just going to have to pick up a comic and start looking at it because I don't think there's any other way that I'm going to read one unless I just do it. It's kind of like life. Yeah, pretty much. And the nice thing is um, uh, you open up a whole new world when you open up a comic book. There's a special language to storytelling in those. Um, and, you know, like if you're, you're a fan of like Peanuts or, um, you know, the Daily Strips, Doonesbury, what have mm-hmm. you, um, it's the same principle just in a larger format that allows – the artist and writer a little bit more leeway in uh, how they tell their story. That's really interesting. I never even thought about that, about it like that. But uh, we are getting close to that time where we will get rudely disconnected. So before that (laughs) happens, thank you again so very much, Brian, uh, for continuing to come on and and supporting us and uh, saying that I'm, you know, a great uh, host because sometimes you have to hear those things to. Uh, well, well to you keep are, going. man. You are. I, I could, I could be doing any number of things right now, but I can't think of anything I'd rather do than talk to you. Well, I appreciate that so much, Brian. I think from the first moment I saw you at the first SoCon, I go, this guy, just, just look at the fez, look at the bow tie. <laughs> this guy's my kind of guy. There we go. That's and we bonded. Great, you, you're one of the few again. people who've worn my feds, so you know that's that's you know it's yes, not an I honor I can be because I still share the photo because I feel so uh, happy to have worn it. I love the feds. I, well, I'm pleased to have fez you. <laughs> All righty, Brian. I'll see you this weekend. And of course, guys, if you are. In the area, if you're not drive to the area, if at all possible, for SoCon and check out uh, Brian's Love Shack and all the authors and artists and great entertainment you can have in the whole mall, especially in that one area. It seems like things are going to get crazy. Well, I'm hoping so. I'll <laughs> see to it. Well, have a great night, my friend. Thank you again so much, and uh, best of luck with all your upcoming projects, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be on your show again, and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow too. All right, Brian. Thanks again. Have a great night, my friend. You too, buddy. Take care. All righty. All right, guys, before we get disconnected fully, I do have a couple of uh, quick plugs for shows we got coming up. Uh, we're going to be back September 9th with filmmaker, makeup artist, and actress Athena Prohadko. September 11th, we're having a very special show. I don't like to do shows uh, on September 11th, as everyone could know why. Um, but we are having on singer-songwriter A.J. Croce, the son of Jim Croce. This man has made uh, a career out of music, uh, can play the piano so very well, and has had some, some trying times uh, growing up and, and getting through life as well. So it's going to be nice to talk with him and uh, find out about more about his uh, career and what keeps him going in the face of adversity. Uh, September 12th, we welcome actor, director, writer, producer Peter Elbing. He wrote the screenplay for Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. He is also uh, an actor who has been on numerous TV shows and movies and over a 40-year career, including Murphy Brown, Criminal Minds, Laverne and Shirley, Shaft, What You Talk About, and Fuzz. Wow. I don't know why I feel like I have to do that every time, but it's, it, it fits. Big thanks to Brian K. Morris again for joining us. If you guys joined us late, um, you can always check out the archive. It should be up in about 10 minutes. And uh, be sure to check out the full episode. We will see you guys at SoCon. Thank you, everybody, as always, for listening. Have a great Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in just one place. And it's free. It won't cost you a dime. You can use it right from your phone or from your computer. There's no buying any fancy electronics. Anchor has a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast. So it sounds great. There's no professional editing skills, no fancy buttons. One tool. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. There's no submitting it. They will actually submit it to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, and many more. You'll be heard everywhere. No sweat. You'll be famous pretty soon. And 
you can easily make money from your podcast. No minimum listenership.